Hey everyone, here's a quick tour of our Mayish.com site. It is chock full of features to make your flower purchasing easier and to help provide an education as well as inspiration. Mayish Market is the umbrella for all of our e-commerce tools. Mayish Direct Box Slots, Live and Local, the Flower Library, and our Product Planner. All of these can be accessed by clicking the Buying Tools up in the navigation bar. Before we get started, let's go ahead and log into the site. The login button is at the top. And here we're gonna enter our username and password. If you are new to Mayesh and do not have a username and password, go ahead and click continue and register. In order for you to gain a username or password, you will need to be a approved customer for Mayesh. So go ahead and follow the prompts and fill out all the necessary information. If you don't have a password and are a current customer, go ahead and click having trouble logging in or contact your local sales rep. Let's go ahead and log into the site. All right, once you log in, you'll know you've successfully logged in if your name appears at the top of the site. All right, let's go into our first buying tool, which is our Mash Direct Box Slots. Mash Direct Box Slot is a way for you to shop for full boxes anytime from our Miami Direct inventory. Shopping online functions just like any other online shopping site. All of our shopping programs will provide the same visual experience with filters that you can search by product, category, color, variety, and price. You can adjust the way you look at the product by these two icons right here. One is the list view, which allows you to see more items per page. If you're more of a visual shopper, go ahead and click grid. Now there's a few features here I just want to point out. You can create a wish list by clicking any of this, the little hearts at the corner of the page, and we'll go over what that does. Or there's also these little stars. The little stars are basically a breakdown of assorted boxes, whether it's an assorted colors, assorted sizes, or assorted product. It'll show you how many boxes are available, how many stems per box, the price per stem and the price per box. Here you can increase how many boxes you'd like to buy or add and just click the shopping cart in order to add it to your cart. Nice and simple. The next shopping tool that is available is Live and Local, which allows you to shop your local branch by the bunch for same day or next day delivery or pickup. This is a brand new program that is currently being tested at, at just a handful of our branches. Visit www.mayish.com slash live dash local to see if your branch offers this program. If not, then you can fill out a form to let us know you're interested in live and local in your area. For both Mayish Direct box slots and live and local, let's go ahead and select some items for us to buy. So just like Mayish Direct Box Slots, you can use List View or Grid View. So let's go ahead and list that we can see, that way we can see more items per page. And let's add some stuff to our cart. So as you can see um, here, it'll show you how many bunches or stems are available for each item, how much it is per stem or per bunch, and you just increase and then over here to the side you'll notice that the cart will increase depending on how many items are being added and then if you click on the cart it'll show you all the items that are in said cart here you can make adjustments you can remove items you can check your subtotals and it'll also show you how much time you have left to shop Let's go ahead and continue shopping. Let's go ahead and use one of our filters. So say we're looking for pink items. By clicking pink, 
it'll sh break down just the items that are available in pink. This feature is the exact same in our mesh direct box slots. Once we're done, let's go ahead and check out our cart. By clicking on the cart, reviewing our items, once we're satisfied with everything, how everything looks, we're gonna go ahead and click check out. Here you can enter whether you're gonna have pick it up, have it delivered, enter our PO information. And if we have a coupon available, which occasionally we do, great idea to sign up for our email blast. Um, you can go ahead and enter your coupon here and click apply coupon. The coupons that we, coupon codes we do send out are only available to use online. So it's a great idea to make sure to use those coupons. Once we're done, we're gonna click place order. And that's it. Our order has been placed. You will receive an email, so will your salesperson. So it makes it nice and easy. Let's go ahead and go to the next flower buying tool, which is our revamped flower library. Our flower library includes availability by day, more pictures, and the ability to sort in many ways. We're always adding more pictures, more information, as well as new product. Let's go ahead and use one of our sorting tools and take a look at the library. So let's go ahead and filter by month. Let's take a look at March. Just like our live and local, as well as our managed direct box slots, we can look at the library in grid view or list view. So let's go ahead and click on one of these items. Let's click on them one of these. How about this agapanthus? There's a few things we can do with this item right now. We can take a look and see if anybody has done any reviews. We can look at information about the product. We can also add it to our wish list, which we will get to. And we can even ask for a quote, which is a pretty awesome feature. So you basically can say like, hey, I'm looking for this item during this time and send a quote directly to your sales rep or to a sales rep for the location. So let's go ahead and click on quote. Up here, it'll show me that I've successfully added my Agapanthus Blue to my quote list. So let's go back to the library. And let's build, let's ask for some more Agapanthus, which is also, it shows me that it's limited during March. It shows me at the top that I've successfully added it to my quote list. All right, so now, that we've built a quote, what do we do with it? So all of our quotes are gonna live up here under quotes towards the top. If we go ahead and click on it, it'll show me the, all of the items that I've requested a quote for. And what I can do is I can specify the date of the future event, which we said was in March. So let's say our event was March 13th, this is the name of my company. And I'm gonna say thank you to my sales rep. I'm gonna go to submit my quote. So the beauty of it is your sales rep will get your quote, get the information you need, and send you an email, let you know exactly what you're looking for. So it's kind of a great way to tie in the website with your sales rep. Before we go on to our last buying tool, let's go over what a wish list is. As you saw in under Maze Direct Box Slots and the Flyer Library, you had those little hearts that were near the product. Well, every single time you click one of those hearts, it got added to your wish list. Now, your wish list is up here in the top corner. And if you click on it, it'll show you all the items that you have in your wish list. So what you can do with this is if that item is available in the product library and not available in the Mayash Direct box slots, you can ask to be notified 
to see when that item is goes on sale by the box. So it's a great way of kind of keeping tabs on items that you know you love or want to make sure you see and you can always go shop for them. And you can always remove items if you no longer want to be notified or no longer need that item on your wish list. All right, our last buying tool is our product planner slash custom recipes. This is a feature that is absolutely awesome. It allows you to create recipes and calculate the stems needed for your specific event, and then quickly request a quote from your local branch. This is a great way to plan for your event in the future. So here we're going to go ahead and just follow the steps. So we're going to go ahead and name our event. And we're going to set the date for our event. I'm going to set it in the future. So we're going to say it's a New Year's event. And we're going to start building our specific items for our event. So say these are going to be the centerpieces. I'm just going to abbreviate CP for my centerpieces. And I'm going to say I'm going to build at least 12. And I'm going to say these are for round tables. I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to do some nice lavenders. And if I choose a color, it'll automatically show me some of the items that are available in that color, which is pretty awesome. So I love the anemones, these powdered anemones. I'm going to say for this particular recipe, I'm going to use five anemones and I'm going to add an item by clicking the plus. And I'm going to say I want some blue agapanthus because I really like those. I'm going to say I'm going to add a three. I'm going to go ahead and add another item. And let's see, one of my last items, I'm going to add some roses. And I absolutely love white chocolate roses. So I'm going to add or maybe some white dove. Bed roses. I'm going to say for this particular recipe, I'm going to use items. Okay. So now if I go down to the bottom, it'll show me how many stems total I'll need to use or need to purchase to make these particular recipes. Now I could add multiple items. So say I'm doing, you know, multiple pieces, not just center pieces. Say I'm doing some entryway pieces. I'm doing some bridal bouquets if this is a wedding or I need to do an archway. I can list all the different things that I need to make with all the components and it'll start totaling up for me what I'm looking for. So what it will do is it'll total up for me the total stems I'm looking for and then I can send this directly to my sales rep. Now my sales rep will take a look at these items and say like, okay, roses come in 25 stem bunches. So this customer is gonna need three bunches in order to fill this order. Agapanthus comes in 10 stem bunches. She's gonna need 40 stems. So your sales rep will be able to round up to the amount that you'll actually need to purchase in order to fill the specific recipe. So it's kind of a really, really cool feature. So we're just going to go ahead and submit it. And there you go. It says my request has been successfully submitted. In order for me to take a look at those things that I have submitted, I can go up into my product planner on my account and see exactly what I submitted. And I can go ahead and view it. It's pretty awesome. And that is the tour of the buying and quoting features found on Mash.com. We are so excited to share these tools with you and hear your feedback. We have even more online projects coming down the pipeline to make your flower purchasing easier. So be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.